What happened? Say it loud. So I was in the uh, the protest line, holding the line, uh, very peacefully. I had uh, just holding the line. The police grabbed me. They pulled me down. They need me in the back. They need me in the side. They kicked me. When I was down, the police, uh, they barricaded themselves so they couldn't see me behind. They hit me four or five times in the head. My hands were completely up. I was not violent one bit. Um, they hogged, they tied my hands behind my back. I was there for two minutes. They pushed my head in the snow. They put their knee on my back. They put something against my face so I couldn't hear or see something or what was going on. Uh, they then lifted me up. They put me into a processing line where I was zip tied behind my hands behind my back for two hours, standing out in the freezing cold. I couldn't sit down. I couldn't kneel down. I have a broken foot. Broke, I had a broken foot, broken ankle, broken hip, broken back. I have many injuries, and they did not listen to them. They then proceeded to process us, take our information, put us in the paddy wagon, let me know that I wasn't being charged with anything. It was my lucky day, and of course I knew that I wasn't being charged with anything because this is ridiculous because I was doing nothing wrong. And then they put us in the paddy wagon, drove us around to confuse us for a little bit. They dumped us in an undisclosed location with just our possessions. We had, we didn't know where we were. This, the, the, the injuries you're describing were prior to this. Yes, yeah, so those are, those was are 13 years ago when I was brought up in Afghanistan. Uh, it was... There were four people in the vehicle. I'll, I'll take over, Chris. There were four people in his vehicle. Three of them were killed. They didn't think he was going to live. He has so many injuries here's, from here's, that. Here's my photo. You can see that. That's the photo of the crater. From That's the, the crater of the IED. That's took my vehicle. Uh, IED is an improvised explosive device for those that don't speak the military. And uh, being beaten and whatever is it's nothing. We'll come back.